Hi, this is Lori with Sweet Rod Joy, and today we're going to make my favorite lunch. It's a colored wrap with a Mexican theme, if you will. So let's get started, shall we? First, I want to show you what a collard wrap is. If you've never shopped for one, this is what they look like. And I like to store them in a plastic bag, just like this in the refrigerator. So when you get them at the grocery store, they kind of look like this. They might be folded in half, but they come in a bunch, you know, kind of wrapped around the bottom. And all I do is take some veggie, veggie wash and spray each side, you know, rinse it with water. And then I surround it with some paper towels and stick it right in the bag and put it in my refrigerator that way. So they stay nice and flat and protected. All right. Now you'll see that there's two sides to a collard wrap. There's this flat, really soft side, but on the other side is this thick woody stem. And this is the part we don't want to eat. And also when we shave that stem, it's going to allow us to actually wrap the collard leaf, if you will, which is why it's called a collard wrap. So I'm going to take a sharp knife. This is a ceramic knife. If you've never used one before, be very careful, be present. No texting allowed while you're using one of these puppies. Okay, so now I'm going to get down here and get it as flat as I can so that I don't cut into the leaf part of it. And as you can see, I'm just gonna begin to slide that knife along. And again, be careful with your fingers. And the closer you get to the end, the deeper you can go until you've got that thing all the way down and you can just let it go. And it's still a little thick for me, so I'm gonna keep doing this a couple more times maybe without cutting a hole in the leaf. If you do that, your stuff is gonna kind of leak out on you and you don't want that. So if you can, get it as close as you can without actually cutting a hole into everything. Oh, that worked nicely. So then we can put this in the compost and we can turn it over and now we're ready to fill our wrap, okay? I like to start with the base. It's kind of like when you make a sandwich, you know, you use mayo or mustard or something for that texture. And in this case, I'm going to use a base of hummus. Now hummus technically isn't a raw food because the garbanzo beans are cooked, but this is one of the few things I eat that isn't raw, but I love it. I'm kind of addicted to it, to be honest. So what we want to do is just spread that around. And you don't want to get too close to the edge because then it kind of makes for a messy wrap. And I'm kind of a neat thing, you know, I'm kind of a neat freak in that respect. So we get, we'll get a good base down there. The next thing I like to do is make a little bed of lettuce. Um, I can, I'm using a spring mix right now. And the more you put in there, the better, except you don't want to put too much because then you can't close the thing. So you kind of have to find that happy medium. Um, I might use some cilantro or some other, other um, green as well. And also I like to use microgreens. This is a really good filler as well. And I like to put this on top of salads. It makes me look like I'm eating at a restaurant or something, you know. But these are really tender young plants, so they're full of, of nutrients and flavor. And it's just something different. You know, if you've never eaten microgreens before, I think you'll like it. And we're going to use this taco mixture. It is walnuts that have been soaked, so there's some moisture to them. Some cilantro, cumin, coriander, some sea salt, and a couple of other things. And if you want the recipe for the taco mixture, you can get that at the end of this video. So it's another reason to stick around, okay? So I'm gonna put just a, maybe a couple tablespoons in the middle. Again, I don't wanna get it too full because then you can't quite close it. And I like to kind of keep it towards the middle there. The next thing I'm gonna do is top it with um, a big spoonful of guacamole. And this is made at my local co-op and they do a really great job so that I don't have to do it. And they also use organic vegetables. Next, I also like a little mango. I love the sweet and the spicy together. And this is a golden mango. This is what it looks like at the store. Whenever I try to buy the red and green ones, I never know what I'm gonna get. I don't even know when they're ripe, you know? So these ones I really can tell, and this one is definitely ripe. You can see how um, soft it is and pliable. Um, so. If you're going to buy mangoes, buy the golden mangoes. All right, we're going to put one more piece of mango, and then we're going to top it all off with a squeeze of lime. And the lime just pulls all the flavors together and makes them pop. So there's that. And I'm going to take that, just kind of dry my fingers a bit. And now we're ready to wrap the roll. And this is going to be a challenge because I've got it quite full. So pardon my fingers, 
but you want to kind of corral it into the wrap piece and then keep wrapping and you can see we have a couple holes where the stuff is leaking through but that's okay we're gonna fix that and I keep a towel handy just for this reason to get all the extra stuff off of there and now we're ready to cut it in half and I'm gonna take this nice little sharp knife we have here and I usually cut on one side or the other so that you know both sides don't have the stem to deal with so I'm gonna cut it in half so that you can see how beautiful it looks on the inside with all of our stuffing and that's what it looks like there and then to keep it neat while we're eating it I like to take a paper towel and I just cut it in half with my hands you can use a scissors if you want but it's really not necessary and then I kind of fold it over so that I have a little uh, something to shoot for and then I'm going to take the end of the colored wrap and put it right there and kind of surround it with the paper towel and then I'm going to turn that under and what it's going to do is it's going to catch your your filling when you start eating it so now you have this neat little pocket that you can you know use to eat your colored wrap and I'm going to put that one on the plate here and then we're going to do the second one so we're going to just wrap that around and there is that one and now all we need to do is maybe put a little bit of hummus and maybe a little bit of guacamole because if you're like me you can't make up your mind which one you love more so I have a little bit of each and then you can eat that with some flax crackers. You can buy flax crackers or kale chips or, or any kind of chip really is, um, as long as it's raw. Then you have a, a totally raw lunch and it's my favorite. I hope you enjoy it. So there you have it, our collard wraps. If you have questions about this video or anything on my website, please email me at Lori, that's L-A-U-R-I-E at sweetrawjoy.com. Bon appetit.